Welcome to Linux and Tutorial. In this session, you are going to see about how to install GLPI IT and Asset Management Tool with Fusion Inventory in Debian Linux. GLPI is a piece of information resource management software that can be installed to track company resources and it is compatible in functionality to several commercial piece of software. Now I am going to install the dependencies that are need for GLPA inventory server. For that, for the installation of GLPA inventory server, first I am going to install the dependency packages. For that, apt get install apache2 mysql server php5 php5 mysql php5 gd. Now enter the new new password for the MySQL and give OK. Retype the password. Now the installation process for the dependency packages has been get completed. After installing all the packages by using lsof command, check for Apache 2 and MySQL config. For that lsof i and the port number is 80. Here you can able to see it is working. And for MySQL lsof i double three zero six. Here you can able to see about MySQL listening status. After that, for checking the default Apache 2 page, for that you need to move to the browser and type the IP address and check. For that I need to open my web browser. In the web browser, type the IP address of your system. Here you can able to see the default web page of the Apache 2. Configure the MySQL server. For that open the MySQL. MySQL hyphen u root hyphen p enter the password now create the database in the name of glpi for that create database glpi the database has been get created for seeing the database type the command show database and see the database you have created here you can able to see the list of database that has present in your system here you can able to see the database glpi created newly I am going to create a new user GLPA for that create user GLPA localhost. Now the user has been get created. Now I am going to give the privileges for that user and going to set password for that user. For that grant all privilege on the name of the database GLPA add star to the name of the user identified by here you have to type the password. Now the promotion has been get set. You have to give flash privilege. To then give exit. Now the MySQL database configuration has been get completed. By downloading GLPA by using wget command. For that command is wget space hyphen c space the link and press enter. Now the downloading process has been get completed. Now unzip the tar package for that tar space xzf and the name of the file and press enter now the package has been get unzipped now move this file to where www html location for that me space the name of the file space slash where press enter now the file has been get moved to that location now i'm going to set the owner and group permission for that file for that ch1 hyphen capital r Owner is www data and the group is www data and here you have to give the path is where www html and the glpa now the permission has been get set now you have to configure the apache 2 to serve glpa for that i need to move inside the directory sites available for that command is cd etc apache 2 sites available now you have to rename the 000-defaults.config file to glpa.config for that command is cp space 00 you have to replace this name of the file as glpa.conf the file has been get renamed now you need to open the configuration file and change the document root for that nano glpa.conf inside that you need to change the root directory as where www.html 
slash glpa after that save the file now you have to disable the 000-default.con file for that a2 this site on the name of the file on the name of the file now the default con site has been get disabled now i'm going to enable the glpa.con file for that to en site the name of the glpa configuration file press enter so the site has been get enabled now we have to reload the apache service for that service apache to reload now the service has been get reloaded now we have to open the browser for configuring and installing glpa for that i need to switch over to my browser here you have to type the ip address and press enter here you have to choose your language and press ok and here you have to give i have accept the terms and click continue and here you have to choose install and here you have to make confirm that the result for each and everything has to be in green color after that only you will be getting continue button and then click continue now here you need to enter the mysql server i'm going to give it as local host and here you need to give the mysql username and here you need to give the password for that user and then click continue here you have to choose the database that you have created in the mysql i'm going to click glpa and then click continue after checking it will be giving the message as ok database was initialized and then click continue now the installation is get finished click use glpa now the login page of glpa has been get appeared here now give the username for login as glpa and the password as glpa and then click post here you can able to see the main page of the glpa now you have to move to the terminal for making configuration for that i need to switch over to the terminal now you have to remove the install.php file for that rm slash var slash ww html glpa install install.php now the file has been get removed otherwise each and every time it will be just running the installation process only now i am going to install and configure the fusion inventory for that var ww html glpa plugins press enter now download the fusion inventory by using wget command for that wget hyphen c on the path and press enter the downloading process for the fusion inventory has been get completed now unzip the package for that tar space xzf space the name of the file and press enter now it has been get unzipped now change the ownership for that file as ww hyphen data as owner and group for that cho hyphen capital r ww hyphen data the name of the file and press enter now the permission has been get changed now we have to switch over to the browser now you have to choose the setup plugins here you can able to see the fusion inventory has been get added to the plugins and then click install for installing the plugin it has been get completed now click enable to enable the plugin because the status is installed but not activated now it has been get enabled now click on plugin and then click on fusion inventory it has been get enabled and added to the plugin here you can able to see the error message as server need to be known the url the agent used to access the server you just click on over that box and you will be getting a redirect to the new page as entry id here you have to give the server ip address and then click save now the entry has been get saved now for installing fusion inventory agent you need to move to the terminal for installing fusion inventory agent type the command apt hyphen get install fusion inventory hyphen agent and press enter the fusion inventory agent package has been get installed in my system now i am going to configure the fusion inventory agent for making the entry in the server etc fusion inventory agent.conf inside that file 
you need to remove the hash in the server line and then here you need to give the IP address of your server and here you need to make changes in the path now save the file for starting the fusion inventory you have to type fusion inventory hyphen agent in the terminal now it has been get started now we have to move to the browser to check the output for checking the output click on plugin fusion inventory here you can able to see the fusion inventory is one it has been get added now click on asset and computers here you can able to see the one system has been get added the host name of the system and the manufacturer and the serial number type model operating system and the browser the full details you can able to see here for seeing about the detailed inventory view for that click on the host name here you can able to see the detailed inventory of that system here you can able to see the fusion inventory details the last inventory the ip address and the agent thank you for watching